here today with Mr. Harry Uy, a good friend of mine. If you didn't know, Harry and I go way back in De La Salle University where we graduated com computer science, where I almost didn't graduate. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Harry uh, is an upper class man. He is the one who referred me to one of my first clients, Eurotex, which is a big reason why SEO Hacker is what it is today is because of that client as well. Wow. So thank you for being here in the show, Harry. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to be here. Harry is, by the way, an entrepreneur. Maybe you want to tell them a little bit about what you do. Uh, okay. So what I do is basically uh, we started as an events uh, coverage. So we do both photo and video for events. Uh, but now we evolved to corporate. Uh, media production. So basically, our clients now are no longer personal events, but rather um, corporate materials, marketing materials. And this is Reality Box. This right? is Reality Box. Yeah. Uh, if you want to check out Reality Box, maybe you want to get them for your events, wedding, or uh, kiddie party, whatever it is, you can check out realitybox.com. Reality-box. Reality-box.com. Check them out. And another thing that you do is... Uh, my wife, no, me and my wife uh, opened or started this uh, Korean chicken. So, uh, most of the time it's being compared to Bonchon, but they say, mas masalap na sa amin, chef. Oh, <laughs> <syempre, syempre. laughs> Try it out. Pwede yeah. ba sila order online? Yeah, we are available in Lala Food and Grab Food. So, we just started this um, partnership with them last year, October. And surprisingly, um, there's a lot of clients in the delivery app services. Mm -hmm. So, Yum Yum Chicken. Yum Yum Chicken. Y-U-M. Y-U-M. Chicken. chicken. Yeah. All right. So, Harry, we went to the same college, De La Salle University. I spent five years there, failed 28 units along the way. You pr probably did a lot better than I did, no? <laughs> so, like, I, I'm just wondering, because in my case, college was something that wasn't a huge or an integral part in my startup journey. Because SEO is not hasn't has never been taught in college i st i studied it right, right. didn't even know how to build a website right. digital marketing was out of my radar so i really learned everything after college after i graduated yes. but how important was college for you in this journey of you starting up reality box well i i met my partner my business partner in college so mm -hmm. see si jerry was uh, my batchmate mm -hmm. but in 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 terms of uh, yung mismong field of expertise. I can say that it's negligible mm -hmm. to a certain extent. But what's important is the the training. Mm -hmm. Yung discipline when we're learning how to code, when we're learning how to deploy the project or mm -hmm. even present the machine project. That's what's important. Yun yung nagamit ko sa entrepreneurial journey ko. Pero yung mismong subject matter yung mga introduction to databases, mga ganyan. Mm. Kasi just like any industry, after you graduate, you have to relearn those things eh. Kasi mm. nag-evolve yung topic eh, di ba? Yeah. So you can't really say na, grabe, o oh, kung hindi ko na-take up yung subject na to, hindi ako mabubuhay ngayon. You can't mm. really say that. Pero, mm. yung discipline na natutunan mo sa college, yeah. or yung, yung people skills, actually. Yung with uh, dealing with thesis mates or whatever yeah. or with mm. your prof, how do you relate with your prof? Yun mm. yung mga important things. Yeah. Now, you had a couple of jobs before you did a reality box full time. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. What are some of the things that you took out from these uh, employment uh, journeys that you went into and into the business? Would you say that working for other businesses helped you? in having, you know, improving your business to what it is now? Improving my businesses, yes. Mm -hmm. Kasi when, when you're employed or you're part of a different organization, you actually learn how they manage their organizations. Eh. Mm -hmm. So my good and bad kana take away from those experiences. Mm -hmm. But in terms of the industry, again, hindi masyadong pareho. Mm -hmm. Because yung una kong work is actually yung official na after graduate work ko mm -hmm. is a... Um, IT na business pero may peripherals. Mm. So may rentals, may computer equipments, uh, may mga antivirus, ganun ganun. Tapos I was a special projects officer. Pero mm. actually parang clerical yung trabaho ko. Oh, mm. Harry, design ka ng trophy, design mm. ka ng certificates, mga ganun. So mm. medyo clerical in nature. Pero um, you learn from those things, nagiging flexible ka. So ang nahasa sa akin doon, not much sa programming pero sa designing part. Mm -hmm. So yun yung na-apply ko na mm -hmm. nagagamit ko ngayon sa 
sa business. Yeah. Tell us about your entrepreneurial journey. When you were starting, Reality Box is how, how old now? Since 2010. 2010. So that's 10 years now. So why did you start Reality Box? Why did you get into the photo video business? I mean, a lot of people say you start with something that you love doing so that when the going gets tough, you don't give up. Uh, yeah. What did you see in that industry and how is it going right now? So the photo and video business actually goes way back. Um, you can say that we inherited it from my dad. Mm -hmm. No, kasi before in the Chinese community, my dad has a studio, yung parang photography studio. So ID picture, mm -hmm. <laughs> passport size, yan, ganyan ang business niya. Then, hindi niya expertise yung video, but nagkaroon ng demand sa market ng video coverage. So, he asked me to learn video para ma-complement ma ko yung services niya. So, after graduating from Lasal, um, nasa IT industry ako ng mga roughly two years plus din. But in the end, um, dahil high school pa lang ako, nagbi-video na ako, na I find myself na uh, na-enjoy ko talaga mag-edit. Actually, post-production yung talagang gusto kong gawin. No? So, Nagkataon itong uh, partner ko, also alasal yan, si Jerry Ahana, ano ko, uh, batchmate ko rin, nahilig naman sa photo. Mm -hmm. Then, I, I, parang I noticed that the market of my dad, which is the Chinese Binondo market, it's a tough market. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a tough market. So, I needed to spin off the brand. I can't rebrand my father's brand. That's not my right. Hindi ko position yun. So I needed to, we needed to do a spin-off. So that's how it started. I partnered up with Jerry and we created a new brand, a new, a separate business with a separate market. And when you partnered up with Jerry, um, just curious, is it a 50-50 partnership? Yes, yes. It was a 50-50 partnership. Okay, a 50-50 partnership, usually if there's going to be an investor looking at your business, the first thing they would say is, who makes the decisions? Because if you don't agree with each other, then you're already paralyzed. What yeah. do you do if that happens? It's actually 5149. <laughs> <laughs> okay. who, who makes the decisions? Okay. Um, so, <laughs> in terms of operations, actually, yung, yung super new long business, no? yeah. our, our model, our business process was actually modeled after my dad's. Mm -hmm. So, most of the shots, ako yung nag advice nun, pero it was modeled after my dad's business, how we render the service, yeah. yung turnaround time ng services namin, yeah. ano yung laman ng package, and even the pricing. But then, as the business evolved, si Jerry, may mga input siya, mm -hmm. until naging mas magaling siya sa mm -hmm. operations. Mm -hmm. So now, if it's operation-wise na decisions, mm -hmm. or even yung pag-source ng mga freelancers, mm -hmm. mas, mas magaling talaga si, si Jerry. So, yun, pinapabahala mo na sa yes, kanya. Yes, siya nagde-decide. Actually, the, the percentage there for us, ah, mm -hmm. it's, just a, it's just a number. Formality. Yeah, formality. Hindi naman mag-a-apply yun unless i-liquidate na namin uh -oh. <laughs> lahat, nung, yeah. lahat ng assets yeah. or whatever. 